the captain on John by Joe Edwards here at the Expressing Star. Joe, FC Jamia. Not a name too many Wolves fans would have known a couple of seasons ago, to no. say the least. But now they've got a shed load of players on loan over there. What's the deal? Uh, well, nine Wolves youngsters have gone out on loan to the third tier Spanish side. and Good division. Good division. <laughs> And you, on the face of it, you're looking at it, scratching your head and thinking, what's what's the point of this? Yeah. But we've seen it before with other Premier League clubs, Chelsea, Vitesse Arnhem is essentially, you know, their sister club where they send young players out to learn a different culture, perhaps a new language, and get used to, basically, with the aim of sending them from going out to be from boys and come back as men kind of thing. Yeah, Chelsea reserves, yeah? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And this is what Wolves have saw in Jamia or Jamila, however you want to pronounce it. I mean, I, I cover Telford United on a day-to-day basis and they kind of acted as, as a bit of a feeder club kind of thing for Wolves last year. Yeah. Um, Wolves sent five youngsters there with really varying levels of, of success. Mm. Um, even Brian Giles and Connor Johnson really did well. Um, Giles, of course, now... You know, a mainstay in the under 23 side, Johnson mm-hmm. at Warsaw, but Ryan Leake, Aaron Simpson, and Aaron Hayden really struggled to make an impact. Yeah. Interestingly, two of those, Simpson and Leake, are at Jamea now. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is a great opportunity for them. Um, a few others have gone there. Blake Donovan Wilson's there. Uh, Sylvan De Landers is there. Um, you All know, of them sun it up. Yeah, great. yeah, exactly, exactly. It's not a bad gig at all, and um, you know, there's plenty of them there now. To, as I say, an experience to learn a different culture, a different way of life, really. Mm. Um, according, you know, to you know, to Kevin Farewell, he reckons that you know, coaches there have got a good grasp of English. You know mm. that. The infrastructure, of course, could do with a bit of work, but yeah. it's early days; it's in its infancy, and as as kind of a you know a return of the favour, the Jamia coaches, some of them come over mm. and learn um, from the Wolves coaches what they kind of do. So yeah, both parties are getting things out of it. Um, a big thing for Kevin Farwell was that if you send youngsters out in this country, yeah. it's not like you know it's not a guarantee that they're going to get games. With Jamia being in the Spanish third tier, um, you know, obviously I don't think that that league is probably at the competitive level that yeah. that's, that say a League One or a League Two is. Um, so they're kind of happy to have as many as they can get in the team. Um, so it seems to benefit all parties. I wish them all the best in the sun, and mm. hopefully. They do come back having learned something and then be able to benefit Wolves. Yeah, maybe you'll be able to cover a game over there as well. I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to. Uh, I don't know whether uh, we'd be able to cover that on expenses, but um, yeah, fingers crossed, you know. Get some sponsorship, mate. You'll yeah, be fine. that's it. That's it. Uh, for all the latest on Wolves, make sure you stay with us at expressingstar.com.